Hi there, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are gonna go over how to change the address, state, province, and country from free text fields to pick list values. Oftentimes users might do input errors. So for an example, they could be writing BC instead of the full name of British Columbia, CA instead of Canada, or perhaps as they're writing out British Columbia, they misspell it. So that doesn't help with reporting. When you're trying to pull reports on provinces or states, it becomes a bit more problematic. So to rectify that, Salesforce provides you with the ability to change the state and province and the country to pick list values. So it's a lot easier for the users uh, to navigate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to setup. And then there's two ways to get there. Obviously you could do the quick find and throw in state province and it'll start to show up or you can navigate down to data and state and country territory pick list. So here we're just gonna follow the instructions. We're gonna configure state countries and territory pick lists. So as you can see, all of them are selected. Uh, we don't want all of those to be selected. So we're gonna actually go and make them all inactive. The countries that we want to uh, have as part of our pick list, we do business in Canada. So we're gonna select Canada and we're gonna make it visible for everyone. And we're also going to go and select the United States because we do business there as well. and we're gonna make it visible. Now you do have the ability to set a default country. So for us, uh, because most of our accounts are in Canada, we're gonna select Canada as our default country, and then we're gonna click save. So now our choices have been saved. Now let's say in Canada, we don't actually do business in two provinces. We'll never do business there, or we just don't want them to get selected. We're gonna scroll back down to Canada here. We're gonna click edit, and then we're gonna select the provinces in which we want to um, do uncheck, essentially. So uh, for us, we don't do uh, business in the Yukon or Nunavut or the Northwest Territories. We wanna make the rest visible, and we're gonna go and click save. So from here, we're gonna navigate back to where we started and we're gonna go and press scan for state and country territory data. And then we're gonna press scan. So what this does is it's gonna go, Salesforce is gonna scan all of your existing data where there's address fields and then tell you, shoot you over two emails uh, with a link in one of them. And the link will uh, populate over to what a screen looks like here and it'll ask you where what to change it to. So for here, we have the CA, and then out of our options, what are we changing that to? So we're gonna select Canada. Save to change list. And then for France, what are we gonna change these ones to? I just created a, an org recently, so this data is already in there. We're gonna just throw that one to Canada and press, we're gonna actually do all of these to just save it to change list as to Canada. And then as you can see, you have US and USA, we're gonna switch those ones to the United States and save to change list. Then we're gonna press next and it's gonna do the same thing for all of the provinces and states or anywhere where you have a state value filled in. Uh, it's gonna ask you what to switch it to. So for here, we're just gonna change all of these to, um, well, you do each one individually. So we'll just do that. Alabama, save to change list. Arizona. The ones where they don't have, they have Singapore or the UK. We're just gonna change these ones to be somewhere in Canada. We'll do British Columbia 
and save to change this. For the rest, because I'm a bit lazy right now, um, you would essentially go through and match it to each of the states that they belong to, but we're just going to change them right over to, we'll pick California for an example, and save to change list. Oh goodness, there's a lot. So we're just going to do each one. Didn't realize how much data was in this org. And we're going to change, save to change list. So you can see these are all saved to make these changes. We're going to click next. And then it's going to give us this warning message. If you're not ready to enable, go back to the previous, um, but we are ready to enable. We're ready to go to the next step, but maybe, yes. Well, we'll just press finish and we'll just go through the steps. So it says to convert identified data, and then the next step, which we just did, then the next step was to enable pick list for address field. So we're going to go back into that, or it, we just press the button, and it's going to go and do that for us. Um, so it's going to start to do that, and then this last one would be just one more additional scan. So we're just going to see where it got to. I always just refresh because sometimes it doesn't refresh for you. And then you can see that the state and country pick lists are enabled for our organization um, and we can't disable it while this deployment is taking place. And we'll refresh here. So when we go back into our data, once this is completed, you'll see that these have been changed over based off of what we put in that change list. So we had BC to British Columbia. You'll see based off of what you've selected here, Canada, if you select the United States, the values differ. Um, it hasn't, we haven't selected anything for the United States, but for Canada, we selected our different provinces. So the reason the United States isn't showing up is because we haven't made those states active. So if we were to go in and go back to what we've done previously. So we're going to go back to configure states, uh, countries, and pick lists. So we're going to scroll down to the United States. And we're going to hit edit. And you'll see here that we haven't made any of these active. So that's why it's not going to show up. We've made the country itself visible, but not uh, any of these active. So if we were to click save here, um, just because you've made them active doesn't mean they're necessarily visible. So if we were to go back over here, hit refresh, and I'll give an example of this. Uh, we'll go to our details, we'll scroll to here. You still won't see any state and province until you've put this as visible. So we're going to go and we're going to hit save. So now you'll start to see those options when we go and refresh this page again for another time. And then we're going to go and you'll start to see all of the ones that we've made active and visible. So that's how you go about changing these free text fields for the country and state and province of addresses to now pick list values. You obviously have to pick a country first before your pick list values appear down here. So um, hopefully you've liked this video, so please like and subscribe. Thanks.